So I was commissioned to make a name Cake Topper. I used Photoshop to print out the name. I used my X-Acto set to trim up the paper, the template, so then I could um, transfer that to a quarter inch board. And here I'm tracing out the paper on the board and I'm gonna use a jigsaw and cut that out so I can later scroll out the name. A little bit of spray adhesive and I'll attach the template onto the quarter inch board. And then I'll go ahead and um, drill out those inside areas so that I could get the blade, the scroll saw blade in there. I had to drill a couple of times to make the holes big enough to fit the blade. And then it's over to the scroll saw. And the scroll saw is tedious work actually. And you have to sit there and, and try to stay in the lines as much as possible. Use the Dremel and then a file to clean out those difficult inside parts. And after this, I went and scrolled out the, the outside of the, of the name. And this is the result. So you take a heat gun or a, in my case, hair dryer. And um, it'll lift up the adhesive and you can get that template off the paper. First I primed, and then I used a uh, glitter spray, which actually doesn't cover as much as I, I thought it would. It just has a glitter and very little of the, uh, the gray or silver metallic, so I had to go for a few coats of that. It took me a, a while. I read it out a, a base for the name. little bit of sanding to get those fibers from the uh, router bit off. After this I use a table saw to cut out a groove so they, the name can sit on. I cut a piece of dowel and then I drilled a little hole. took a wire and um, a little bit of glue for the dot in the eye, in the eye of the name. So everything's uh, painted, that's about it. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. We have more DIY, make videos, and tool reviews coming up. This is Escajedo Woodworking.